Scott Cates is a local doctor. He knows the coronavirus from every angle as a doctor who treated it, a survivor who battled it, and a son who lost a parent to it. It's given him an important perspective face, a threat that he warns is still very present. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with a story. On Easter Sunday, as families were settling into their couches to watch church services online, Dr. Scott Cates was preparing to go on a ventilator. Having already treated many of the first patients to face COVID-19, he was realistic about what that meant. About half the patients that are on a ventilator die uh, from this disease. So, uh, so I knew that going in. His wife, Meg, and their two grown children knew it too. They had a family phone call. I said, write this down carefully. Here's all the passwords. Here's where the account, here's where the retirement accounts are. I mean, really doing all of that. Then things turned emotional. And then it was real important for, for me to see my kids and my wife and, uh, and vice versa. We all knew what the phone call meant. As they fought to save him, his colleagues at Henry Ford didn't know if he would pull through. But the following Saturday. Looked down and, you know, my, my toes and their yellow hospital socks were wiggling. I said, okay, I guess I'm back. Dr. Cates would recover, but the virus would not leave his family unscathed. On May 5th, his father, Dick Cates, died from COVID-19. As his family mourns, Dr. Cates warns, this virus is still a threat. This is not over by a long ways. If you get sick, then you are going to expect someone to risk their life to save yours. So I just think it's absolutely rude to say, I don't want to wear a mask. I don't want to do everything I can. Dr. Kate says he is forever grateful to his coworkers who risked their lives to save him. It's impossible to thank them enough. It's absolutely impossible to find any words that could even express that gratitude. His message for everyone. Do everything you can not to get this. Dr. Cates is 62, but he says he never even considered stepping back from the front lines. Instead, his wife went to stay with their son in Texas, and he volunteered to work more because he didn't have a family at home to worry about exposing. We are so grateful he made it. Back to you.